Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to have Randy against Black Duchy again, and it's going to be on... What map is this, anyway? Baron! That's what it is. So once again, this is fully live. Have it set up pretty quickly, and then we will get started once the players are set up. Randy already set up. He is, well, setting up his commander position. Interestingly, neither player is pointing out, I might as well, as I can, get into the game and show. So the players, neither one actually setting up factories yet, interestingly enough. You can set up your starting factory and build order right off the bat before the game even starts, so I'm a little surprised they aren't. Anyway, Black Duchy starting with Cloakybutt Factory, while Randy starting with Cloakybutt Factory as well, which for a map like this is really no surprise. Small map, decent amount of terrain variance, so Cloakybutts work pretty well here. However, I don't know how well that's going to work for Black Duchy. I mean, Randy has been going for one glaive. Pretty confident in his glaive micro, and he has every right to be. So, I... Well, we'll see. I mean, Black Duchy is coming in with... It's going to be two to one. Conjurer coming up behind that glaive, and then another one coming. So, Randy is going for a pure scout, while Black Duchy is going for a much more heavy raiding focus at the start. Once again, five glaives. He is very heavy. Uh, six glaives? Wow. Is this... This is... He's trying to win with the raiding from the looks of it. Or at least trying to... Okay, he's trying to defend as well as attack. He will be able to get rid of this glaive, maybe. Kind of tough, though. He's not in the best position. One of the glaives does go down. Another... Well, this glaive is able to get away. Randy can get his glaives away without too much issue. And Black Duchy not moving into this attack. These two glaives are doomed. They have to get either in or out. And they are choosing to go in instead. That is going to... Kill them. They are not going to survive this at once. That's just not going to work. That is just not going to work. You need to be... I think with, as I mentioned before, with good micro in this game, a lot of it comes down to retreating away from the person you're... Not the person. Retreating away your units from the units they are attacking. That's a huge part of micro in this game. So that the units projectiles have more time to be dodged. Because if you're retreating, then it... They take longer to get to the unit, and also... They... Any random variation is... There is a bit of random variation in these units, if you notice the way they fire. That gets exemplified with distance. As you close in, it becomes easier and easier to hit. But further away, it becomes harder to hit. And at this point, Randy looks like he might actually be use, losing this glaive. No, not quite. Still just barely keeping him alive. Very, very clever micro there. At the same time, further in, he is going to lose one of his... No, not quite. He's he is still keeping all his glaives alive. He has not lost a single glaive this entire game. He's getting pretty close with... He's gone close a couple times, but the only glaive losses have been Black Duchy. Randy has been expertly micromanaging every single one of them here. And even like 5-1 situations. Take out a glaive and go. Randy is just... He is doing that quite well. Black Duchy, however, should probably switch over to Warriors. If you can't out-micro your opponent with Raiders, don't bother with Raiders. Go with Warriors. Go with Riot Units. Going with Raiders the entire time when you can't win out the Micro War, that's not going to work. That just isn't going to work. Just don't bother. You're wasting your money, you're wasting your metal, you're giving your metal to your opponent. Just use Riots and then use that to get rid of the Raiders. That is what you need to do. That's all you can really do. But it doesn't look like Black Duchy... No, Black Duchy is... He is committed to Raiders. Well, so is Randy, but Randy, as we can see, can handle Raiders just fine. He is wonderful at that. But Black Duchy, his micro is not as good as Randy, so he really shouldn't be trying to play that game. He is not playing to his strengths right now. And finally, is he, he is finally able to get rid of one of the glaives. This glaive is the first one that Randy has lost his entire game. And that glaive killed about two or three of Black Duchy's before going down itself. So, yeah. Randy, he knows his glaive micro. On the other hand, Black Duchy is going to mass in here with a bunch of glaives. I guess he's figuring enough numbers is going to make up for his lack of micromanagement skill, and that is... Well, that's not going to help out when you're going uphill. That's just not going to work. If he's going around the side here, going up this hill, and then going around flanking Randy's forces, that would work great. And does Black Duchy have radar? He does not have radar coverage of this area, so he doesn't know. Neither does Randy of the corresponding areas, but still, that's really important. The Black Duchy, unfortunately, not in the best position. He does have about the same army and about the same economy, but he doesn't have... 
if he gets into any fights with this army, he's going to lose a lot more of it than Randy's going to lose of his own. However, he does have... Well, he is going for a defense here. He's going to try to get rid of Randy's Glaives, but really, Randy's probably just moving out of position. These Glaives here, I'm guessing Randy's going to be attacking with those. There we go. Moved Black Duchy's out of position. Now, Black Duchy has to move all the way back. Going to lose a few Metal Extractors in the meantime. Actually, he's splitting up his Glaives. Not a bad idea, but even then... Randy... Now he's going for the attack. He might have waited a bit too long, I think. That really would have been a more powerful attack if he attacked a few seconds earlier. Does get rid of a Metal Extractor. Does get rid of a Glaive. I know, loses a Glaive in the process. However, still nicely done. Distracting the entire army with only a couple Glaives. Leaving the rest to go back. Very, very nice unit splitting. Actually kills a Conjurer in the process. And now he's going to be in the bad spot in that Lotus. He does not manage to... Is he going to manage to get rid of this? No, he's not. He will not get rid of the Metal Extractor. Going to go for the second one, though, and he's almost successful. Not quite. Very close. Still, nice nice mind games on Black Duchy. Splitting up the Glaives like that. I mean, Black Duchy is really overreacting with his Glaives. This is where Warriors would be a much better option, just because you could have one or two set up along here. And they'd take care of pretty much any number of Glaives. Well, up to about half a dozen or so, at least. I think more than that, actually. However, the problem is with these Glaives, it's... Black Duchy knows he can't out-micro, so he's trying to out-mass, and the thing is that if you try to out-mass, then your opponent can just split up as Randy has done. At this point, Randy's taking, that, taking the entire top left side of the map. Black Duchy's trying to take the southeast, but doesn't quite have as strong of a position. I mean, both the southwest and the northeast have been taken by Randy at this point. Very heavily defended. Black Duchy's not going for anything to break this. No hammers, no Rockos. Trying to go pure Glaive Spam, which he's not able to pull off. He has other options, but he's not taking advantage of them, unfortunately. So it's... Slow crawl to death, and he's... If he switches over to Warriors, I think he'd be fine. If he switches to Roach... Sorry, to Tix even, that would help out quite a lot. But switching to Warriors and to... Rocco... Well, they're not Rocco so much. Rocco's with the defense, yes. And a Tick, actually, speaking of which, a Tick is up for Randy and... Black Duchy... Takes the bait on that one, tries to get rid of the tick when he sees it, but at least he knows it's there. He does know that attacking this base is going to be very difficult, but he didn't need to know the tick was there. There's already three lotuses. He knows all the lotuses are there. That's not... that's not anything new. Randy at this point... He pretty much could move into the kill. He is actually switched over to Rocco's, by the way, just in case... I mean, this is a good counter to Warriors, but even then... I don't know. That's... not really saying much, unfortunately. I mean, there's no worries to begin with, and if there were, that would help a ton. Be able to get, he would have been able to break through a lot of these areas beforehand, but it's kind of too late now. Going for Rockers himself, finally going for Warriors, but he should have done that five minutes ago. As soon as he started to see that he couldn't win the Glaive Micro Wars, just go for Warriors instead. Maybe get a few Glaives for additional raiding, and just to have a bit more vision where radar is a bit hard to get, but even now, I mean, Black Judge has radar of, of most of the map. And Randy has radar of pretty much everything but Black Duchy's base, so both players are very knowledgeable of what's going on. But yeah, Black Duchy really doesn't have much of a chance here. Unfortunately for him, he does have... He doesn't have as many units. He doesn't have as much in the way of cost of units. And hammers are coming in as well, just to get rid of... For Randy, just to get rid of all the defenses being built up here. That will be fairly successful. At the same time, Rockos are coming in here. We do have more Rockos coming in, a Warrior as well. Black Duchy, to point out, he's actually building slower than Randy. Randy is, he has twice the build power powering into the factory. Ra Black Duchy, only 10 metal a second. Randy's got 20 in. So Black Duchy's army difference is going to get worse and worse over time. It looks like Black Duchy is going to try to attack these Lotuses, though. Try to get rid of those with the Rockos. going to be tricky to do, but he might be able to pull it off if he gets the right, if he just goes in and out the right timing. It's tricky, though. Trying to get rid of Lotus... Trying to get rid of one Lotus with three Rockos is doable, but difficult. Trying to get rid of a line of them is even harder. So at this point, hammers are in here. They are going to try to break through this defensive line, and they should be fine for that. And here comes that first warrior, and a bunch more Rockos coming in. And that is... At the same time, we do have Randy trying to break through everything along the side. And I can totally see why Floris is complaining about the use of Defenders and Lotuses. A lot of defense, but now at the same time, Rockers are being destroyed. Glaives are coming in, and 
not able to do much. Unfortunately, this valley does make it difficult to assault directly. I mean, you're in the low ground trying to get in, so... That limits one's options somewhat. However, even with that... Randy is probably going to be able to push through here. His rock is once again taking the center, and his glaive is going in for support. So Black Dutch will not be able to get his glaives through too easily, and down Black Dutch's glaives go. They are being pushed back while the Rockos take care of the defenders. Take care of everything around here. This is... This is pretty big. I don't see any way Randy's going to lose from this point. And at the same time, Black Dutchy is trying to get rid of these Lotuses here, but it's not working out too well. He's on fight order, which is basically causing the Tick to scare all of them away. So Randy with that Tick is just able to scare off the Rockos by screwing with their Skirmish AI. At the same time, breaking through the center, Randy has successfully broken through the center up on the high ground, and we'll be able to just tear apart everything from this point. The Warriors will help, but like I said, this is way too late. Enough Rockos are in place to be able to counter the Warriors, and Rocco Wars are going to possibly start, however, if that tick moves in actually from here, that will be extremely useful. Both for distracting the Rockos and if it gets in close enough for stunning them, and I don't see that happening, but I do see the Rocco Wars are coming in here. Randy, he's retreating a little bit, but really, as long as he gets rid of the Warriors, then his glaives can move in easily. However, the Warriors actually able to close the distance on Randy's Rockos. Randy's Rockos not on a fight order, so it's a little bit, he has to pay a bit more attention to them to make sure they're out of there when the Warriors get close, but at this point, even then the Warriors are going, this Warrior is going down, that's one Warrior down, another one is in the back, there's two Warriors left. Black Dutchies forces, however, are actually holding decently strong. Having switched over to basically Rocco, Rocco Warrior is a good mix for Black Dutchie right now. Given the way he's been playing, that is the unit mix he should have had a while ago. Unfortunately, he is just trying to defend, just trying to delay his own death for as long as possible. Hammer Strike's getting rid of a lot of the units up in the northeast, and Rocco's going over the hill. That's going to finish everything off if they go through, but at this point, Black Touchy trying to do what he can to defending against this. He's not got much. If he could break through this area here and maybe move up north from the southwest base here, just break Randy's hold on that. But even then, Randy just has three times the economy. I, I don't know. Black Touchy has... Okay, building wind generators here probably not the best idea, but yeah, Black Touchy doesn't have the economy. He doesn't have the production. Trying to get some hammers of his own as well, but that was just on his build queue. And Randy coming in with his commander as well. Level 3 commander. Level 3 recon com. Particle beam... Be particle beam beam laser. Interesting choice. Yeah, Randy is not even phased at all. There's no worries. Just going for troll com assault just to finish it off. And that is totally finishing it off. Black Touchy, no chance. He really... Should have just gone for the Warriors earlier on. Warriors and Rockos, just keep the Glaives for anti Rocco, but don't try to win Raider Wars if you can't micro it out. And Black Touchy, I mean, nothing nothing bad against him. It's just Randy has really good Glaive micro. Trying to beat that is extremely hard. That's the thing. It's just trying to beat Randy's Glaive micro is not something that's going to be easy to do. And the easiest thing to do is just to avoid that fight entirely. But unfortunately, that was not done. So Black Touchy. Being pushed back pretty heavily. Hammer's trying to do what he can. Rocket's trying to do what he can. But everything being pushed back gradually towards Black Touchy's factories. Or factory. Singular. And that's going to be game. That's... It's already been game already, but... At this point, Randy is... His rocket line is going down, but so is Black Touchy's. And Randy is able to reinforce. Getting sharpshooters instead, actually. He's, just because he can, really. Morphing's commander once again... Taking, ran taking Black Touchy's Metal Extractors that he's already destroyed. I mean, slow death here. Slow death for Black Dutchie. There's really not much he can do. He's done a decent job of thinning out the Rocco lines, but even with that. Actually, at this point, he's just going to go for it. Doing actually quite a bit of damage here. Getting Yeah, getting rid of the Rockos pretty well. So Randy's Rocco line has been broken. There's only a few of them left, and at the same time, we do have a couple sharpshooters coming in. But yeah, the rocket lines have been broken. Randy's not... He hasn't really won yet. However, his commander now at level 4. It's speed, shield, armor, 6,300 health. He's got Reaper health. Pretty much tear apart any of these units without even trying at this point. Has to retreat a bit, but the sharpshooters are going to basically finish off the rest of this line. A few glaives coming in to try to help out here, but... Even, when, even then, it's not going to work out too well. 
Randy now starting to take a bit of damage, losing the shields, but even with that, just able to retreat, avoid all this damage. Actually, his commander's taking a decent amount of damage, you know? Maybe it's not quite so simple, but he is, at the same time, destroying a lot of Randy's... A lot of Light Touch's units are going down. Randy's commander at half health. It's... Even with that, it's able to get away, jumps away. Sharpshooter is able to stop everything coming in, and... Rocco's trying to get rid of the Glade... Sorry, Glade's trying to get rid of the Rocco's, but the Sharpshooter is able to stop them. And if not them, then the commander, there's really not much to be said here. Randy's commander moving back to engage. With a smaller army has to fight against, that's not going to be too difficult. A couple ticks coming in as well to try to just probably stun out Randy's commander. That's going to be... I don't think one tick's going to do it. Gotta be honest, I don't think one tick is actually... Come on. Let's see, one tick, 2,000 damage. But it's at that's going to take two ticks. Assuming they even got close enough, which they clearly won't. So unfortunately, that is game. Black Touch, he's, he defended okay. It was pretty nice defense near the end, but unfortunately that is still it. Lost the game. GG, throwing in the towel, and possibly another one between these two. I don't know. No one else seems to want to play against Randy, and I can't say I blame them. But yeah, there haven't really been any other players. And Randy up to level 5 commander. Just a bit more speed, a bit more armor. Up to 8,400. That, that's seriously 8,400 health. Yep, yeah, that is. And down goes... Okay, well, with Commander down, Black Duchy finally surrenders, and that is... That's game. So yeah, not the most back-and-forth game, I'm afraid, but... It's something, at least. Hopefully the replay system gets repaired pretty quickly. It's a server, I think. Something's gone wrong with that, so... Don't know what game's gonna be next, but stay tuned. Gonna have something, at least.